Welcome to NetSuite's demonstration of NetSuite planning and budgeting. In this video, I'll demonstrate scenario planning capabilities by creating and comparing multiple budget versions. On the budget version dashboard, I see a high-level income statement with sales, cost of sales, expenses, and profitability KPIs. In the point of view, I select the subsidiary and the currency as well as toggle the year and the accounting period. The default scenario is budget, but we could also have a forecast or any other type of scenario. The first column in the income statement is the active version of the budget. When we make budget adjustments, the active version is automatically updated. The other columns contain additional budget versions. In this account, we see the board budget version, which represents a static budget, likely the budget that was approved at the beginning of the fiscal year. The variance columns highlight differences between the active budget and the board budget. Let's assume we have completed a budget milestone and want to create a new budget version. Before updating our active budget, I'll make an archive by right-clicking on the form and selecting Archive Budget. I can select the scenario and version to archive, but for this demonstration, I will use the default active budget. For the target, I will use the budget scenario. I can browse to select a version or enter a name. I'll enter Baseline and then click Launch. Details of the active budget are copied to a new baseline version. We now see the baseline version on the dashboard. As expected, there is no variance between baseline and active version. We'll now proceed to adjust our active budget. I'll start with OPEX. From the tabs at the bottom of the OPEX page, I'll use the OPEX top level adjustment form. After expanding the departments, I'll right click on the totals for operations department and select adjust grid spread. I anticipate the operations department expanding, so I'll increase the budget by 250,000. The adjustment is proportionately applied to all expense accounts for the operations department. I could continue making additional department level adjustments, but for this demonstration, I'll shift to revenue and gross margin. From tab three, I'll manage my services revenue budget. I can adjust my budget for a customer or customer category, and I can define the specific item or service offering. We will increase our budget by adding an amount for an additional customer. I'll select new customer and then search for Fisher software. I'll enter 10,000 for this customer and then click Save. Let's go back to our budget version dashboard. We now see variances between our active budget version and our baseline budget version based on the changes we made. Specifically, we see the 250,000 variance in expenses based on the OPEX adjustment. We also see the 10,000 variance in services revenue based on the additional customer. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.